All right, so sometimes when I'm out and about, some people say, hey, I wanna hang out with you guys on NXS TV. You know, when are you doing your next event? I decided that it was time for us just all to come together as one big happy family. How about we go to the movies? I love the movies. Wanna see Baggage Claim, starring Paula Patton, Boris Kojo, Tay Diggs, Jill Scott? Tell you what, we're gonna let you do that just with us September 27th, but you gotta keep it locked to New Extreme Sounds because after we show you some footage from Baggage Claim, I'm gonna ask you a question. If you can answer it, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com backslash NXSTV, or tweet, you know, tweet, tweet, tweet. Anyway, that's at NXS TV, all right? Now, I had an opportunity to go out to California and hang out with the stars of the movie. I got a preview of the movie and it was great. So if you love romantic comedies, this is definitely a must see. Hung out a little bit with Jill Scott, Adam Brody, Lala Anthony, Afian Crockett, and of course, Paula Patton and all the handsome men that were in the movies. But this week, just gonna give you a taste of a few of them. The Flight Crew, mm-hmm. Uh, Jill Scott's gonna talk about her new project coming out, which would be a couple of albums. And we're gonna get Lala to tell us a little bit about her reality show. So sit back, kick it, relax, and check out some uh, footage from Baggage Claim, the movie right here on New Extreme Sounds. On September 27th. Take everything out your pockets. I need your pockets out your pockets. Buckle up for the year's hottest comedy. One minute. Paula Patton, Derek Luke, Tay Diggs, Jill Scott, Boris Kojo, Trey Songs, Adam Brody, Lauren London, Tia Mowry, Lala Anthony, and Jaiman Hansu. David, who is that? This ain't my house, it's hers. She's crazy. Oh, help me, help me. Crazy, she crazy. Baggage Claim, directed by David E. Talbert, rated PG-13. So I'm here with the crew. Hi, hi. The crew. What's going on? How What's you doing today? Good. Up? All right, so I'm interested to know, um, we are, this is a romantic comedy, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of you guys, especially you, I know Jill that you have done so many serious roles. How was it for you all to just do this slap happy laugh movie? It's easier because uh, you're, you're just free. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really have to think about the emotional baggage of, of this scene or the next scene or uh, how you intend to reach this emotional state. You don't have to worry about any of that. You just be alive and um, and kind of silly, you know, just be alert and silly. And that was fun because I'm working with this guy over here, mm -hmm. Adam Brody. So he's <laughs> throwing me lines that I have no no choice but to react to. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just the proverbial ball, just throwing it back and forth, having a great time. So how much of the script was actually not written? I mean, how much did you go off script, Adam? Uh, just, a, just a tiny bit, you know, it, it always helps. Um, it is fun to, Improv, bring a little of your own yeah. ideas in to anything, but to me it's terrifying if there's not anything on the page or mm -hmm. if the script isn't really good in the first place yeah. and it is all up to you to come, you know, this is going to be That's funny true. or not and it's, you're going to have to come up with it. I hate that. So fortunately, this was really already uh, really funny and well written and it was just a question of, you know, if you wanted to add some stuff you could, but it didn't even need it. So mm -hmm. uh, just a tiny bit. All right, now Lala, you are doing a whole lot of things in right. the industry. I mean, from spokesperson to all of your other stuff. Did you have to actually audition for this role or did they just, you know, pick you out? Did they say, you know what, I want her, I want her, can you read for it, can, what? No, I had to audition for it. Really? <laughs> it wasn't offered to me, I had to audition for it. You know, coming from my background of t being a television host, you know, there's still a part of me that has to and wants to prove that I am a real actress and I can do this, so I, embrace the auditioning process because it gives me a chance to show people I really can do it. So I did audition for this and David E. Talbert is a great director and allowed me the room to have fun on set and try different things out and just make the character so much fun. So I really enjoyed it. You saw the episode where she had to leave Puerto Rico and had to go to the audition. <laughs> Come on girl, you don't watch La La's full court life. Get out of here. Come on now. So how, how interested are you in reality TV since you brought it up? I mean, you're watching it, are you following everybody else? Do you know about everybody else's is, life or what? Most most of the people I know, like I, I got friends on the show, so I want to support them mm -hmm. with what they do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm not a fan of like the drama drama shows, you know what I mean? Uh, except for Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, but that's just <laughs> my that guilty show. pleasure. That's an but I support La La and I have, like I said, other friends that have shows. So. La La, now I know, I know that reality TV is not always real. How much of that is scripted? Um, oh, well, my show is actually very real because it's not drama filled, it's who I am, it's my life, it's following me, juggling everything. So my show is very real and the only thing I kind of keep protected is, you know, my marriage, which is something that I've chosen not to expose to the world because that's when 
problem you. start. And yeah, because like once that. the media gets a hold of it, that's yeah. Wrote, so right? I, I keep my husband kind of tucked away behind that black curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you have a couple new projects coming out. Now, um, the, the Lullaby album. Yes. The Lullaby album is uh, produced by uh, Robert Glasper, mm -hmm. myself, John Roberts, and Derek Hodge, some of the most amazing musicians I've amazing. ever had the privilege to work with. Okay. And it was created in four days, mm -hmm. four blessed, blessed days. You did an album in four days? Yes, I did. That is incredible. It's extraordinary. Lyrically, it's a monster. Mm. Yeah, I've been waiting to write this lullaby album for many years, 15 as a matter of fact, um, but I had to wait until I had a child. I needed to understand what that love was. So now that I've had a son, um, it's a whole other level. And I'm also, um, I, I don't sleep very well. So uh, I work hard, but not as hard as Lala. <laughs> you are the hardest working woman Book, I've makeup ever met. Line. Full court life. Yes. You know my home. Right? You my you. girl. You my homie. Come on, man. We, I've known you, you since the MTV it. days. Well, what are you talking about? You. Thank you I so much. I follow your situation. I support it. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. And a child and a and husband. A and a right. Well, Adam. <laughs> yeah. So how did it, your character was like totally hilarious and flamboyant. How was that for you? Because right now you're just really laid back and not saying too much. I'm flamboyant. Don't let him fool you. Are you um, going to let him fool me? Um, that was really, it was fun. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Sam is his name, no last name required. And uh, uh, I just, I, I have affection for that character. And um, it's fun to play. It's fun to work with Jill and Paula and mm -hmm. uh, David, the director. I mean, it was just a really uh, lively environment. And uh, as Joe was saying, I mean, comedy and, you know, it's a fun, just trying to sort of crack each other up is a very fun thing, to enjoyable thing to do on set. Drama, sometimes you can reap the rewards later, or, you know, there's a certain thrill to be found in the moment, but to me, uh, nothing is quite as enjoyable as doing a comedy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Just an inside look at Baggage Claim, the movie, and some of the stars. Now, you know what? It was really hard for me to interview Jill Scott, and she didn't want to sing, give us a little taste of her new project, but I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to let you know when her lullaby album hits the stores and we're going to give you a great sneak peek, a little bit inside, since she didn't want to give it to us personally. But it's all good. I understand the business. Now, I wanted to ask you a question. You know, Lala Anthony has to be short for something. Lala, Loretta, Lore I don't know, whatever. If you can tell me what Lala's first name is, I will give you two tickets. Mm-hmm two tickets to see Baggage Claim on September 27th. And bonus question, whoop, whoop, if you can tell me what her maiden name is. Mm-hmm, so it was, before it was Lala Anthony, what was her name? Mm-hmm, hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com backslash NXSTV, or Twitter, at NXSTV, for your chance to win tickets to hang out with us on September 27th for Baggage Claim, the movie. Make sure you check us out next week for more interviews with the stars. See you then.